Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading. This is our Spirit God messages for the month of June. Let's go ahead and jump in and see what Spirit Gods we have working with us this month. Our first one we have Magic Guardian. Unlock the magic within. Absolutely, we're going to be pulling on uh, believing in magic, building faith and confidence in what we're doing and what we're wanting to manifest. Unleashing the magic, believing that we can. The card underneath, we have Cave Sanctuary. So, um, this guardian is actually going to be helping us to uh, really dive into a project. Uh, something that we're really passionate about doing, feel called to do, that feels like it's a sanctuary. It's almost like um, our work becomes our medicine, our meditation, our safe haven sanctuary. So, yeah, let's pull the tarot cards and see what those bring out. Our first one, absolutely, we have the Eight of Coins. This is... Persistent, steady dedication to something we're wanting to manifest on a tangible level. This could be an arts, craft, hobby. Um, could be a business. But it's some kind of work. And, and you see he's working with his hands. He's actually honing a skill, perfecting uh, something tangible. The next card we have... The Seven of Wands. Okay, so with that Seven of Wands coming underneath that Eight of Coins, that's an indication that we feel like we have to defend uh, our dedication to something. Our dedication to what it is we're wanting to manifest. What we're wanting to create. The next one underneath, oh, the Five of Coins. So, just know my cancers are oh, what I seem to be picking up. It might be that we constantly have to defend the fact that it, what we're doing may not be making a lot of money. Might be taking uh, investment, investing into and not getting a return back or small returns, things like that. But we're constantly in that state of feeling like we have to defend what we're doing, but we've got a dedication. And being persistent with manifesting what it is that we're doing. So, um, you know, a lot of times, um, people, there, there's so many of us in that need, necessity, mode, that it's like everything we do has to be able to make money. And sometimes... It's not about the money. It's not all about how much money you're going to make off of it. Sometimes it's a spiritual quest. It's got more than, you know, the value of it, with the return that comes back is more than money could actually buy. So, yeah. So, that's one thing that's coming out for us this month. And more than likely, our, our actual guide... The Magic Guardian is going to help us stay persistent and dedicated to what it is that we are passionate and really want and devoted to creating and manifesting. Our next Guardian, our next spirit, we have Great Teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So my cancers, I really think just knowing the first thing that come out is something we're dedicated to that really doesn't have a price or a, a money value to it for us. It's more of a spiritual quest for us. Yeah, I think we're, this is, June is going to be our month that brings that forefront to us and... and Almost has us being that example to others in our life of not everything is valued and weighed by its value when it comes, you know, to what it is. It's not just money, money, money. What we can get. Underneath our spiritual teacher vulnerability. Absolutely. Our vulnerability. So our spiritual teacher guide 
is actually going to be working with us in how to be okay with being vulnerable. Uh, the fact that the meadow is a representation of vulnerability. You see all the chaos, all the wild growth. Things are just wild. But yet nature seems to put that chaos together so beautifully. So yeah. And it's, yeah, our spiritual teacher is actually going to be guiding us into being okay with feeling vulnerable. Feeling confident in our vulnerability. I don't know how to put that. When you got confidence, how can you be vulnerable? Just being confident and knowing I am vulnerable. And it's a beautiful thing because beautiful things come out of the chaos. So, yeah, let's pull our tarot cards with that one. Wow, we have the Empress. Absolutely. My Cancers are working on giving birth to something. It's also a harvest card. It's fertility prosperity and yeah it's always a good card and it means you know we are bringing forth we are manifesting what it is we're wanting we're creating it underneath our empress we have the palace of swords and our palaces in the uh tarot of dreams is actually the environment the environment within your heart and your mind within yourself but also the environment around you. And remember, we got a sanctuary card. So yeah, we're wanting to create a space. And more than likely, we are creating a space for ourselves and everyone else that lives with us, around us, that's in our bubble of freedom of ideas, fresh new breath of life. When you think of the, sword, the swords, the palace of swords, think of... Mountains, mountaintops, fresh, crisp, clean air, clarity. Also, uh, honest communications. Being able to communicate, uh, not having to hold back and exp with expressing yourself. Underneath that one, wow, we've got the Palace of Wands. Mm -hmm. two, two palaces. So we're also wanting and moving into coming under that Empress. That is June. We are actually creating. And any of the struggles we're going through with what we are dedicated to is actually helping to create an environment within us, but also around us, a physical around us of Freedom to express yourself creatively, um, to transform, to trans, uh, let me pull the card up here, the little butterflies, one thing always catches my eye on this one, to be able to create, to, tra to transition into the things that you're wanting, express yourself honestly, clearly, openly, so yeah, it's a really good environment. That and just know, um, environment within ourselves, our thoughts within our you know, the, our passions with the fire, but also the outer environment, I think, is going to balance out for us. Where we the seven of wands has, has us a little bit of trying to defend ourselves. I think there in June, we're, we're creating an environment where nobody has to defend themselves on what it is they're doing. Our next guide, we've got Lord Ganesh. Oh man, I love Ganesh. Infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spirit, spiritual support and connections are increasing. Wow, I love this one. So my cancer is dear in June. Obstacles are being removed. Absolutely. This is what I was saying. I think something, yeah, we're being supported on the divine level and got it into a sanctuary. Our, our actual inside of us and outside of us can become that sanctuary for not just us, but others. Others with us. Underneath Ganesh is river movement. Absolutely. Movement. Moving towards uh, any obstacles that's been standing in our way is actually being removed and we're going with the flow. That's what our movement card is. Go with the flow. Don't try to paddle up river. Go with the flow of what's going on to relax in it and trust and 
have that spiritual experience of being able to build your faith that even in chaotic times, even in times where you feel extremely vulnerable, the universe has your back, the divine has your back, and you're being guided. And this is removing any obstacles. Our tarot cards that come with it, judgment, mm, rebirth, a harvest card, absolutely. Underneath our judgment card, we have the seven of coins. Our patience is paying off big term. Our dedication and persistence and sticking with it, even if we have to defend it occasionally, is paying off. It's getting ready to uh, unfold come to fruitation our judgment card is also a harvest card the same as our empress so yeah and then the card underneath our seven of coins is the wheel upright absolutely a fair balance karma go, uh, moving forward uh, the wheel is like the seasons the change of the seasons and you're going forward the cards upright so it's very positive very positive um if um, you were wondering, is it, you know, is it ever going to pay off? <laughs> if it's ever going to pay off, absolutely. It absolutely will pay off. But I think our biggest lesson is the spiritual lesson of whether it actually pays in a tangible way for us, like money, uh, things like that. I think it's paying off for us on a spiritual, mental, emotional level. Uh, what our dedication is to. But this card seems, uh, the, the Ganesh is like trying to tell us that don't worry because all of a sudden that um, five of coins is not going to be so unlucky as you say. Yeah, that's our card of lack of where we're holding ourselves back from reaching out, taking opportunity. But it is a card about not having enough resources or uh, not getting actual money coming back from something. This card is saying that our patience and dedication this month, June, you are going to get a return on a tangible physical level because it did come in on pentacles it's more than just that spiritual it's going it's actually going to fulfill <laughs> on the outside also so yeah our next guide we have charity prayer and contemplation connect with heaven ask and you shall receive mm -hmm. i love charity prayer and contemplation she actually had a jumper that come with her and that was hilarious divine healing honor your sensitivity retreat to recharge and heal your light can support others absolutely my my cancers i'm really picking up on uh we have a dedication to something I don't know if it's a career, a business, to, you know, a vocation, a craft, something that is like, we know, it's not just about getting money back for us. It's actually a, something that's, I want to say helps other, helps others to actually step in and start their healing process. It might be the healing arts or something like that. Or just helping people evolve and expand and grow on the spiritual level. Because we dig at the spiritual teacher. So, I really think that part's also being fulfilled this month for us also. Where we're really stepping into what that craft is. We're, we're manifesting it. It's coming about. But I think <clears throat> the universe is like, because of your dedication and because you haven't been so focused on and not worried about and don't really care about the money part, the money part's going to come rolling in. So, yeah. The card underneath, Hilarion in Charity Unfoldment Lotus Flower. Absolutely. The Unfoldment of the Lotus. Well, I love this one. And this one is the beauty, the beauty of the vulnerability, the, the beauty that grows and unfolds from that mud that the lotus grows out of, the beauty, 
in the chaos, the vulnerability of things. So yeah, I love that one. Our tarot cards with it. Wow, we've got another palace. Mm, my cancers. We are creating within ourselves and outside of ourselves a, an environment that is really, truly sanctuary. Sanctuary, not just for us, but for everyone that enters that palace in that that area. It's, yeah, the fact that we've got the swords, the wands, <clears throat> and the cups. That cups is about creating a, an environment where people can express their emotions, not just their ideas, not just their opinions and their creativity and their desires, but their emotions in a healthy way. And they feel safe doing it. That's what our palace is. When you look in the look at the palace image up close, it actually has the knights guarding all the new growth, the new flo uh, flora, the plants on that uh, seabed. They're standing guard to the, to the vulnerable ones. So I really, really love that because yeah, oh yeah. That's a good one. Card underneath our Palace of Cups. The world card. Success. Completion. Bringing something to a completion. But it is success. Underneath that, we have the Four of Swords. Wow. Okay. Let's keep going here. See what this is saying. Because this mm -hmm, is taking us in a different direction than what... Mm, absolutely. The hermit, spiritual teacher, hermit. So, my cancers, what this is saying is we, we might be going through June. We may have hit a phase in our life where we are dedicated to doing stuff just because it's important to us, to others. Not because of what kind of money you can make, what kind of success the world says you can get from it. But we're doing it out of love and dedication. And with these three cards, it's like this month, June, and it's almost saying that we've been for a while putting worldly success, worldly success on hold and reevaluating that hermit, or going, following our own inner light and what's important to us, not going with society and what the world says is success. We've took a break from that so that we can get clarity. And it's almost like we're healing on a spiritual level. We're coming away from everything has to be tied into uh, monetary systems, economy, uh, societal rules. We're starting to see. It's actually like we're having ascension, awakening of spiritual growth and expansion on a personal level, but it's also, we're displaying, it. we're actually taking actions on our knowledge, that inner light, that spiritual teaching that we're getting. So, yeah, that's a very be beautiful message right there, is we have stepped away from, and that may be why we, uh, you know, all of a sudden feel like we have to defend our our new dedication and devotion to what it is we're wanting to go after the fact that it's not not bringing money and it's like it's almost like who cares who cares i don't know why y'all are so tied up in why everything the only thing i can do has to be bringing in money no this is a spiritual quest a spiritual journey for my cancers and june is bringing it forefront and it's actually manifesting. It's actually manifesting. It's creating an absolute sanctuary environment within us, but also around us that's going to benefit other people also. Let's go ahead and get our roundup cards. This will close out our uh, monthly reading. We have... What is that? Six of ones. My brain went boop. <laughs> Six of Wands, victory, success, but it also has us uh, in the spotlight, in the spotlight somewhere. Others are really looking at us and just know the Hermit card. Everybody says, you know, our Hermit, you know, is uh, reclusive, <laughs> but he's not exclusive. 
he's very much in the public eye. It's just uh, people are watching from a distance because he keeps his distance. Uh, but he does allow, because he's a spiritual teacher, the ones that are following him, he does allow them to, to actually have access to him. Access to him. So, yeah. But we've got a success card and maybe in the spotlight a little bit, in the public eye, so to say. Or in, you know, just that, you know, pivotal point. I don't know how else to put that within our circle, private circle. So, yeah, we've got the strength card coming in under that. I love that because our month has actually got us being a little more assertive not aggressive, and actually looking for solutions of how to get things to work with us instead of against us. The card underneath that, our star card, I love it. Faith, faith. But it's also a card that, that tells us that uh, right out in front of us, we've got something really positive coming, to, coming our way. Opportunities opening up to us. Uh, yeah, good card, good card. Underneath that, we have the Queen of Swords that we're ending <clears throat> the reading on. I love the Queen of Swords because she's very decisive. Uh, she removes self-doubt. She doesn't let self-doubt sway her. But she also doesn't allow others' opinions and their emotions to sway her. Uh, she is very considerate. She's not just cut and dry unless she comes up reversed. Uh, but she's very clear with her communications. Uh, yeah. So, June for my cancers is removing any self-doubt about the direction that we're headed in. And has us confident in making decisions, being able to move ourselves forward. And we don't do the self-doubting kind of decisions of, well, it might work. Mm -mm. We do a cut and dry. It's a final decision. It's a final decision. If it doesn't work, then we quickly choose again. Very confident. We don't allow emotions to influence us on, on making decisions and going in certain directions. Let's go ahead and get our oracle cards. Each God is going to give us an oracle message. So let's pull them out here. We've got Ganesh. And then we got Hilarion and Charity up here. So let's see what the messages are from all of our guides. Our first one is going to come from the Magic Guardian. Take your life and enjoy it. Oh, I like that one. You are alive, so take your life and enjoy it. You were born with the right to be happy, to love, to share your love, just to be. To take a risk and enjoy your life is all that matters. Absolutely. Everything's not about the money, money, money. Let's just be. I like that one. From our spiritual teacher, <clears throat> we have manifest your true intentions. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will manifest through the word. What what you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will all be manifested through the Word. And just know the Word is what kind of story you got going on in your head over and over and over. And what you're speaking over and over and over. What's that story you're telling? Tell a good story. From Ganesh, we have Enjoy Heaven on Earth. Wow. Impeccability of the word can lead you to personal freedom, success, and abundance you can attain. The kingdom of heaven, from this one agreement, be impeccable with your word. Bringing us back to what we are telling ourselves, what kind of story we are telling ourselves in our own monkey brain. Uh, really pay attention this month to what you're telling yourself. And I think my cancers are because we are really, truly having a, an enlightening month. A month of, you know, spiritual growth and personal ascension, expansion. I don't know how else to put it. So, yeah. Let's get our message from Charity and Hilarion. Learn 
to ask questions. Wow. Mm -hmm. Charity also, remember, told us, uh, ask and you shall receive. It is always better to have to ask questions than to make assumptions. Have the courage to ask questions until you are clear as you can be. Once you hear the answer to the question, you won't have to make assumptions because you will know the truth. Wow. Mm -hmm. Ask questions. And our closing cards for our roundup section. Our first one, we have Speak with Integrity. Speak with Integrity. Say only what you mean. Avoid using the word to speak against yourself or to gossip about others. Use the power of your word in the direction of truth and love. Mm -hmm. And then the, the next one is Embrace Your Freedom. Love the birds. I'm sorry about Mimi snoring. She's getting loud. <laughs> Mimi, Mimi, stop snoring. Okay. You gain a huge amount of freedom when you take nothing personally. No spell can affect you regardless of how strong it may be. And if you live without fear, if you love, you will be happy with your life. Mm. That one's pretty. Embrace your freedom. Yes, I'm on it. And our last one, my cancers, is everyone lives in their own dream. All people live in their own dream, in their own mind. They are in a completely different world from the one we live in. Wow, now that's something deep to contemplate. Absolutely. Okay, my cancers, that's what I have for our spirit messages for June. I want to wish you a blast, beautiful month. Uh, very enlightening, bold, courageous, and a healing month also. So, yeah, thank you so much for visiting my channel. Hope I see you again next time. Bless be.